Hey everybody, welcome to the American Campfire Revival. Hey, I wanted to do something a little special tonight. I'm inside the house and we're just cooking dinner and my daughter's playing the piano over here. And uh, in just a couple minutes, we're gonna get a chance to maybe sing together. So if you're joining me live for the American Campfire Revival, um, why don't you pray with me? Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this beautiful night. And we wanna sing hallelujah so grateful that you've come to save us and to reconcile your world back to yourself. Lord, we want heaven and earth to meet for your will to be done and your kingdom to come, just like Jesus prayed. And so we ask for your blessing tonight. Fill us with the spirit of Christmas, and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I heard this great story I wanted to share with you about three wise men and a blind king. Again, my friend Jay offered these insights from the Bible gospel stories. And we hear about these three wise men, these kings as we've called them from the East. And we read in the gospel account that, that they came to Jerusalem and they asked, where is the child who was born king of the Jews? We saw his star up in the, in the sky. We saw it rise and so we've come to worship him. And the word got out to the king of Judea, King Herod, who was the one to, to make sure that everything went according to the dictates of the Roman Empire. And he hears news of this king being born and these three wise men traveling, following a star to worship him. And he calls together all of his religious leaders and his advisors and he says, where is the Christ to be born? Where's the Messiah? supposed to be born and they say well the prophets have said he's coming out of Bethlehem and so he secretly calls these wise men to himself and he says go to Bethlehem that's where you'll find the child and then come back and tell me exactly where he is so that I can go and worship him too and of course King Herod had no plans to worship him uh, he had other plans and so they went to Bethlehem they followed the star and they went to the house where Mary and Joseph and the baby were, and they brought their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh, and they worshiped him. And they were warned not to go back to Herod because Herod was a wicked man. And so they went back to their own country another way. And when Herod found out that he had been double-crossed, he had been had, he got angry and furious, and he sent out a, a command for all of the baby boys, two years old and younger, to be murdered in Bethlehem. You see, the wise men came to worship the baby in the manger, and Herod was not wise, he was blind. He was blinded by his own desire of self-preservation. He was king, he didn't want another king moving in. And so, in an effort to preserve himself and his own life, he tried to kill the source of life tried to murder the one who would later grow up and say, he who tries to save his life will lose it. And that's exactly what happened to Herod. He ended up losing his life and dying. Jesus said, but whoever loses his life for my sake and for the gospels will find it. Wise men today still seek the source of life for forgiveness of sins and eternal life. And I hope that that's your desire, is to bring gifts of praise and worship the source of life. Well, here, my daughter's been singing this song tonight, and I thought you guys would enjoy this. Bye. 
this next verse.